and again for another wild mapping video. And what's today's video? Oh wait, it's alternate feature of the year, the world part 34. And to start it, we're going to go around the world where the North German areas aren't really occupied as much are allowed to have their independence restored under a few conditions as long as they don't attack anyone which why would they but not long after their independence a war of aggression happens what a shock as some polish forces rise up here as there's polish partisans already as the german civil war deteriorates the polish rebels gain territory guys why do they gain territory because that's it they do they gain territory but a lot of countries dislike what poland's doing but they figured it out poland has an expansionist government basically i mean i guess if we get punched around long enough everybody will get upset and yeah but you always have a period of one country being a bad boy. And yeah, Germany counter offenses these rebels. Let's found out Poland is supporting these rebels, which Poland does gets punished for less. But nobody really cares about it. As they see these rebels gaining ground. Although now Polish lands are much smaller but germany decides for once and for all to win this war their best bet is to do this they basically say to poland these polish rebels to stay away which this is all they can push them back to where there's major polish population still like here, Polish forces stick around here. And the border that better reflects ethnicities. But there's still problems because Germany is still occupied in many areas. But a lot of countries condemn Poland for what they did. But Poland doesn't care as they are becoming the person of wanting more power. With where can we shift border? There, no, I don't really like that idea. South Africa, no, that's kind of harsh. The New World, oh yeah, I think I have a good idea for the New World. So suddenly and randomly, all of the Guianas unite together. As if this could happen. I'm saying there's law border disputes. In Brazil, is just chilling. Until bad stuff happens somewhere. I can't really think of where, but let's say Tunisia goes to war after having war declared on by Libya. Whichever I shocked by. Why is ever I shocked by this? Because nobody expected it to be completely real. And what the problem is with not thinking this was a possibility is that when you think something's not a possibility when does bad stuff happen now it's a prime time for bad stuff to go wrong because when there's bad rules equals bad things happening which can be dangerous with Libya having the upper hand in this war as the West is recovering from defeating the Germans. But the only good thing is they do have Russia. There's a few alliances in this world which all support a different side. But yeah. With Tunisia being overrun in days. But this is where the West starts helping them. Western nations. And a lot of people are stunted as this happens especially Libya which panics as this is happening and well 
I try to get Algeria to help, but Algeria, as we know, has shifted westwards. With Tunisia saying peace, which basically they say no to. And Egypt says, yeah, we would like the land. With countries like the West African Union and Egypt helping. With the West African forces moving in from the south. Egyptian forces move in from the east. As they do this, this is a smart front. Yeah. They do that. And Libya is basically in trouble now. But the West African Federation soaring north. The capital, I just realized, has already been taken. Let's put it there so we can see a battle. Yeah, that happened. And yeah. After one last pocket of resistance is taken out, the other two pockets surrender and peace is being signed between Algeria, Chad, Sudan, Tunisia comes back to war, and a lot of nations all get ready as an attack is looming against Libya as Egypt, Algeria, Tunisia, the West African Federation, Sudan, and Chad mobilize their militaries near the border. This is quickly led by a declaration of war. Much good bad as the capital is taken within days. Sudan finally moves in as day three, basically. Day two. So it already looks like it's going to turn out to be a lot like the Six Days War, a lot of people predict. As within four days, it looks like this. But it's going to be a bit different because it's going to last longer. And in three to in day six, looming around the corner. With Libya being completely decimated and partitioned. Now, barely to these neighbors, I think, based on how much they border and stuff. And how strong they would be now. The Western oriented nations. Such as the West African Federation or Egypt. This leads Algeria and Tunisia joining the World Treaty Organization. But countries like Chad and Sudan are still very neutral of it. Although they were just at war. But there's an election in the East African Federation with Tanzania, Uganda... Burundi, Rwanda, what's that country? Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya, they all vote the Communist Party with the rest voting for a regular party. A more democratic party. Which, as tensions quickly rise, the communists claim that the Democratic forces coalition that formed is against them, which quickly escalates into them. They just don't. With them quickly escalating it as they declare war on the East African Federation Democratic forces. But this is met with a lot of problems quickly. With Sudanese forces taking advantage of the situation to launch a land invasion into former Sudanese lands. Why would they do this? Because they can. Yeah, that color is not a great color in my opinion. We'll have to make it darker. This is not normal for me to use a darker color, but sometimes to not blend in me and do this, guys. As they cross into some of their former lands. Which is soon quickly seen that they're funding the Communist Party, which is not great. When a lot of your country is under communist dictatorship, I guess. With them invading. Into Uganda's land. And into Ethiopian land. With a quick escalation happening as, well... The East African Federation is starting to be not stable again. How many times have they fell apart? A few times. 
with pirates rising up in land and they expand up and they want their independence which they quickly succeed in doing as the democratic forces are most concerned with stopping these communists who manage to get on both sides of this river as they start sending forces across this river as they end up getting invaded by the DRC and well this is just great for the DRC and other East African factions. Them getting to the point where they just give peace to Somaliland, no, to Somalia and Sudan. Huge swath of land, or what it lost to them. As a communist threat is growing, countries are starting to call for free in with recognition to the communists. They start calling on the world to recognize them as a new leader, which a lot of the world countries refuse, especially the United States of America, because you know, they're the United States. With Eritrean rebels popping up and somehow doing this, peace is drafted with them, which they gain land start quickly falling away. As they quickly go on a losing campaign, which is not great to sustain yourself, a losing campaign. What do you guys think? Do you think losing is the best way to sustain yourself? No, I don't. With another loss on the battlefield after a loss, a spearhead is then established towards Kinshasa, the capital. And in Ethiopia, it doesn't go so well. After this happens, the capital is encircled. A big siege breaks out as nobody gains land. But one big problem happens is where they were planning on making a spearhead, Ethiopia strikes first. Well, the Ethiopian region. And with them all the way back, almost to South Sudan's border. They make an emergency as people, they annex Uganda region and they start claiming themselves as the real official leader which is really much disputed as Ethiopia just keeps slamming them but then as the seed starts to break as there's a huge risk of them getting encircled for some reason a lot of forces flee the city with the spearhead being seen as a failure the south Spearhead is also seen as a failure as they are kicked back almost to their border. With Ethiopia thinking it's funny to attack them where it hurts the most. Do you know Tanzania is technically the original member of this? Because it was Tanyanka or something and Zanzibar, they changed to Tanzania. They were two different countries. As Ethiopia strikes their homeland, a huge chunk of forces are taken from South Sudan. But I'm even doing this, because I can. As I push them back. But suddenly the DRC breaks through their front lines, even in the south. And they go up behind the front lines. And then they encircle where there's not much. And yeah, with this happening, well, their whole front Happening. As they say, this is completely protected by the water. They move forces with this happening. With them crossing. A lot of the people in these places welcoming them. Why? Because they lost. But actually, there's more to it. As the DRC starts slamming in. Looks like the Civil War is over, but America has been funding them. Well, America did invade them in one of the episodes. That was the first water war. Now I'm moving up to this lake, but I don't understand why it would be fought here. Maybe it's because they're chill. No, it's because America is just America and they like to be the first to do everything. With... The South area surrendering over and much of Tanzania saying they did not vote this way. 
But they're coming out that the vote that made them leave and declare independence was rigged, false, and a lot of people were shot to make that vote. Of them being stuck, not in any alliance anymore. It's kind of hard to be in an alliance when you fall. With some bad news happening, with it turning out that South Africa was in the same boat as our Federation of South African Nations starts to crumble with Botswana forces fighting against the place. With them trying to take over Botswana. With Namibian forces breaking riots out. Eventually leading to them revolting on the Diamond Coast they have. With Zimbabwe revolting. And let's use this color, guys, for Zimbabwe's rebels. But Mozambique... African Federation take out Botswana forces. That's who they attack first. With a huge fight force capable of many stuff. With them consolidating power over these lands from the Botswana rebels. But in Namibia, on the other hand, they can't fight them back because the Namibian rebels are stronger somehow. And yeah. Basically, you wouldn't see it, but this happens. With Zimbabwe forces successful, South Africa basically is forced and negotiate with Namibia, which this civil war only took like a year. They've probably been fighting for less than six months. Which is where they go for peace. To escape any further embarrassment. Botswana now decides they want to leave. Again. With, this is just a perfect time because South African forces are exhausted from fighting. But not exhausted enough that they get their full country back. It looks like they'll only get their north back. Which is good enough for South Africa. As South Africa declares defeat. They are kicked, they kind of are no longer part as a new, as this happened. They lost a lot of allies in these lands because they didn't get involved soon enough. But the East African Federation applies again to the World Treaty Organization with South African Federation also. Somalia is just chilling. Everybody is doing good now. Hopefully they're doing good. Grand Colombia looks nice. Florida doesn't. But Mexico, America's border, bad. Canada's border, chill. And we have the new German Republic border. Pretty cool. With them quickly being able to reoccupy these lands. Well, looking like they're knocking Bavaria as Bavaria votes be alone that the Rhineland going to continue being occupied and Baden-Württemberg votes to just rejoin Germany because it's only really Bavaria who wanted independence now there's a lot of nations like Poland specifically against it but there are going to be something bad happen in this video that may or may not be great a dispute being made over South Sudan, which the East African Federation is lucky to be in this alliance because if they leave the alliance, they're in a bad spot. If they stay, they're in a good spot. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. It might not be as long as normal, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and had a nice day today. And if that's true, leave a comment, any comment. Any comment is welcome because comments make this channel better. So please like, subscribe, comment, and if you want to get subscribers, that's chill. So just share this video. You go down, there's a button that should say share, and then you text it to your friend, Snapchat it to your friend, whatever you want to do. Facebook it. Do what you want. Just share this video. More subscribers mean more 
subscribers. And if we hit a thousand, well, that's good. And I hope you enjoyed this video, because if you didn't, there's something gone wrong. But please like, subscribe, and comment. And do you want to see anybody fall apart in the dark? Or anybody unite together? You can comment that. Any ideas for this? Comment it. Should Hungary become big again? You can comment that. That won't happen. Should Russia get a dictator again? Well, it can happen again. And yeah, that would be cool. So if you can, please hit that subscribe button. Please like and subscribe. That's all for today's video. Wild Mapper is out. Wild Mapper out!